Okay, where we last left off, we just finished lobbing a cannonball at Flamende, Flamende, Muil. The walls are very strong, even with the Flying Dutchman, it'll take a while. But that's not going to be the highlight of the, this episode. What's really good is that we got uh, these bonuses, all these goodies I can take away. I don't have a lot of time with these units, so I'll have to use them quickly. But if I get all this, that's going to give me a significant advantage. My name is Timberjack, and welcome back to another episode of Sid Meier's Civilization VI, where I'm playing as a leader who doesn't have any abilities. One second, I gotta start my timer. Alright, now it's go time. First thing I'm gonna do, stop building the Grand Master Chapel and start building the water mill. Wait. I'm pretty sure at this point that technology has already come to pass. Wait a minute. Renaissance. Some people are already in the industrial era. Amurabi's about to enter the modern era. I'm gonna have to catch up. So we're getting saddled. This will improve the camp. It's not a good thing because I don't have camps. But we need it to get basically anything else. Suppose I should have some gunpowder just so that I can see where everything is. The Petra. Gonna want this city to produce more so we'll build a water mill. It'll also be good to grow it more. Yeah, that's already cut it down the Petra's uh, time by a lot. Man-at-arms units? Ah yes, they've been hired. So, first things first, grab this one. Extra faith, not bad. Remove this one over, they'll not aid me in the war, they're just here to grab all this loot. Crossbowmen are gonna be extremely problematic. That's not good. I'm gonna heal up there. We'll see what this one is selling. And the horseman is recovered. The barbarian horseman. Ah, great. They've already got caravels. The serious man takes Scott seriously. Alright, let's see. I think I'll just send the man at arms to ravage the crossbowmen. Let's see, we're gonna move this one oh, onto here. Pre light cavalry unit. That got me what? A regular horseman. Can probably upgrade it to a Corsair. If only I had the correct technology. Stirrups. Yeah, that's not too far away. Once we get mercenaries, we'll be able to... Yeah, would you look at that? Mercenaries. Gonna need to pull him out of there, though. Must no more man-at-arms units to go that way. 12 turns remaining. It'll take about 7 turns to make it over there, so that's good. Alrighty. Time to convert Singwedi. And what is this horseman gonna do? 
This guy's already got us some caravels. I'm sure the Flying Dutchman can make short work of it if I needed him to. Well, seeing as how he does more damage to caravel than the wall. Well, that seems more than reasonable. We definitely don't want the caravel to be roaming free. Especially when it could be attacking my harbor and fishing boats. I'll have to move the horsemen. I guess we'll just... You know what? We'll keep him in the city until I actually upgrade him. So we're gonna have the missionary go over there. Looks like the pikeman has decided to show up once more. Ah yes. Swordsman, do I not have the man at arms upgrade? Ah, pike tactics, I don't have it. Well, in any case, the swordsman can defend a little better, so we'll get that. They still have trebuchets, so that's not good. Well, we can lay siege to this battle bunker. Everything is difficult to kill. All right. So the iron golem cannot hit them at all. Can he survive a hit? We'll have to see for ourselves. Okay. We'll assess how much damage they can do by making use of the iron golem to tank a damage. So far they've only got caravels. Come to think of it. Might be able to get some defense up if I have a trebuchet. Everything costs money and everything is important. That's a bit unfortunate. But we need this bakery online so we grow the city faster. That way we can work more tiles and hopefully we'll get it a little bit faster than we would have. Oh, hold on. I need to show the resource and use icons. I had that disabled for some thing. Went straight for me flying Dutchman. That's fine by me. It didn't do much damage to the flying Dutchman and now he is dead. Is waste. Now this man at arms unit is toast. So we'll take a turn to attack the crossbowmen and weaken their attacks. Now we can perform a city strike. Ah, looks like he has recruited some people. Six turns remaining. There we go, now we can see. If he attacks the governor's plaza, that's gonna be problematic for me. But here's something I can do. I can move the archer in and see if that's enough to finish the job. Got him. 
Right. There'll be no pillaging today. Yeah, let's get stirrups so that we can upgrade to the Corsair. We'll have it at the same time. That's pretty handy. Now this galley... He's done his job well. I think he'll just head over this way and see what we can find. This golem. That's the amount of damage that was sustained. He can at least take tank a few hits. Pillage a plantation. There's an entertainment complex so he can do a, quite a bit of pillaging before he ends up dead. And as always, we'll be attacking this wall. Eventually the Trebuchet will get more combat strength with promotions. And the Samurai... Samurai is also pretty strong. The Iron Golem can withstand attacks, so can the Samurai. We should send them in simultaneously. Ha ha ha! Now here's the moment I've been waiting for. Double Archer into Berserker should kill the Man-at-Arms unit. And that's one more win for Team Nobody. What? He's still alive. He must be so lucky. It's like, that's got to be one health left. Well, that's unfortunate. Looks like my swordsman defending the land has dissuaded the pikemen. That works for me. Now, we might have to give up on that one. We got a lot of rivers. The skirmisher can make good use of them. Unfortunately, the crossbowmen will do heavy damage. And there's not much we can do about that. Musulum Amurabi Dunku. Ah, I think he's paying a little more for peace. But I haven't generated too many grievances at this point. Now this I think we punished the man-at-arms unit for being in the water. It's not like they can pillage, being that they are land units. I'll worry about them later. Oh, I can claim a great person. Who do we claim? A great scientist for each adjacent mountain tile. I guess the best place is three adjacent to see mountain tile, which would be here. We'll just mark it with a pin. And uh, I guess we'll use campus as the thing. Being able to buy units with faith would be oh so important. We'll grab the Grandmaster's Chapel now. In the meantime, let's resume the assault on his walls. So give me a bit of extra faith. Not sure I care about that at this point. Do we take the gamble and see what's over there? 
Nah. Because Iron Golem is pretty strong for who he is. I believe he's a replacement for the Swordsman. Yeah, he replaces the Swordsman, so that's um, quite a bit stronger than a Swordsman. Wouldn't want to lose out on that. If I send the Archer there, he'll likely end up dead. Ooh, but Garrison should help him survive attacks from the Battle Bunker. Well, to get him some garrison since he's participating in war city warfare. First, let's repair the water mill. We pillage that, and then we pull him out of the area. Now, I guess. Hold up, I can get Apostles now. That's pretty useful. We'll grab two Apostles, and that's gonna be huge. Hmm, that would do a ton of damage. We'll explore in this direction now. Um, do not think you can intimidate me, Pikeman. got collectivism established. That's pretty good. That's another bit of misfortune there. We just hit him really hard. Then pull away from the uh, from the man at arms units. Still going to take quite a bit of damage, but should be able to survive it. All right. More man at arms units are en route. So it decides to attack there. May 백성은 창조의 신비를 통달한 당신을. Oh, my science is already pretty high. The stirrup and the grow war mercenaries despoil one's enemies in war. Being able to core up will be important. 50% gold discount on all units upgrades. Alrighty. Go for the immediate discounts. Why do I have naval infrastructure? It doesn't seem too useful to me. We gotta have gold discounts. I'm also going to want to get equestrian orders. No, that's not it. Retinue? Yeah, we can forfeit some gold per turn in order to get stuff for cheap. We'll try this. It looks like we can claim this village. Looks like we can discover the overpowered hero I'm not allowed to use. Now let's check the research. 
Yeah, we'll grab surveying. Then we can get castles and have actually good things there. We're also going to want to get bombards at some point. see we move the catapult into daywall pull the iron golem back into fortification move the samurai here and I guess we'll send the archer across to see if he can defend a bit oh that's right I can evangelize my beliefs I guess I may as well do that, huh? Especially since Boxer doesn't have that bonus yet, so it's not too overpowered. Now, passers plus one food, that's pretty good. Wait, we want the governor's title. We're gonna go ahead and repair the monument there. Scholarly tradition sounds pretty good if I am actively converting city-states. Could be a potential snowball there. I think we gotta get scholarly traditions. And then I can choose another belief. Allows the construction of Serapia. Extra science and production. Yeah, let's go for that. Now to send an envoy. Uh, we get a bit of science and a bit of culture. Sounds good. Got something that can take a promotion. Ah, that's just Valletta. Alright, don't fear them. Okay, so this one will attack the men at arms unit. This one will have to attack the crossbow men. And the berserker will kill these. What is with this camp? We gotta disperse it out as soon as possible. Alright. Well, let's send the swordsman into the fray. Now we have what? Oh, he got the spear of Fion. He can actually go up against that guy. But I get the feeling there's more than just the crossbow man. There is this area. That's bit of coastline I can get around the Landa that way. It should allow me to continue my exploration. Nine turns remaining on this man at arms unit. And then we have Barbarian Outpost. Four wonders have been completed, huh? Let's just get another hit on this one. And those shenanigans come to an end now. Bit unfortunate, but you can't I'd expect to make it through that. They're being quite aggressive with the amount of units they're sending over. Eventually. 
I'll actually catch up to him if only because he has to dedicate so many resources to putting pressure on me. Well, it doesn't take a defense penalty from being attacked by ranged units. In fact, if I was to take Tortoise, he is further protected. We'll step this archer back to be out of range. We'll get arrow storm since these are field archers. We might actually have to start producing some defensive units. You know what? I think I will. A trader say will do the job. Four hundred gold is required. Surely I can get that this turn. So let's make a deal. I have one I am and they'll give me eight gold. Sure. That'll work. Now I can get a trebuchet. Oh there was a city state quest to get a trebuchet. Nice little bonus. Unfortunately I don't believe we have Victor de Castellan. He can help boost the strength of this city. At this point Let's get you a trebuchet. That'll help me do more damage. The archer will have made it to here. Other better, we'll send them over to do stuff, I guess. I don't know if Aquitaine must be over here. We'll explain why religion is over on this side. We should run a simultaneous push for both man at arms units. They're either going to get it or they're not. Either way, they're going to expire. He keeps wanting peace. Could be beneficial for me to actually take it. My science is no longer abysmally low. I could use the gold injection. But I've invested too many units into this fight. It's costing him more than it is me. He's gonna... And that's the last thing you want to have happen when you're at war. Good grief. So, what are we looking at? Use the siege unit to attack the quadrireme. Now this was the worst possible timing conceivable. this thing is that was unfair what happened so I'm gonna see if I can optimize it to the best of my ability I'm not going to lose the capital because of a crisis that happened at the worst possible timing creates with the heart 
Now, what are we looking at? This can use a city strike to attack the quadrireme. Let's see, the only thing capable of taking the city is the man at arms unit. Let's go all in on killing him. Unfortunately, this thing won't die. But another option is to commit my resources to killing the Trabers, say. So at least it won't be blasted to completely to smithereens. What sort of great people do we have here? Instantly creates a privateer with a promotion. What was previously recruited? Amongst them, forms a fleet out of a military naval unit. And Rage got that one. That's not good. What we need to do is get the Trebuchet into position to attack the, those units. Castles will be most important. That's one less camp to deal with. In fact, we gotta mobilize as many units over to the east as we can. Every unit that is able to fight. Let's see. Double push from these two. We'll have the slinger bringing up the rear. And this man at arms unit. That's fine. Now, what are we looking at? Cannot survive another strike. If you see a castle under I'll need to reposition the flying Dutchman to right here. Cut off this access point for caravels. It'll kill the man at arms unit. I was working on the Colossus. That would give me a good boost to gold per turn. But, well, if nothing else, I'm going to get that ready to go. Time to upgrade this to a crossbow, man. Now let's get Niter. We'll eventually have need of it for bombards. Uh, 
That's it. That area is defended. Should be able to keep a hold of. Thing is, it still offers protection for the Gravy Sea. Gotta get the Berserker over there right now. Here we go. This will work. Extra faith. Not sure what I can do with that. Oh, but there is that other area. Okay. Another man at arms unit. Gotta put it all into ranged. And hope it wins. Good. Wealth consists. Get them into the government plaza. Give them a little bit more. No. That will surely kill him. Is it possible to kill the man at arms unit without jeopardizing it as such? We'll see if it's possible after we attack him. Hold on. I did not have quick combat enabled. Hello. That's slowing the pace down. Anyways. We need to get this... Get our melee units over there. I think it could survive another hit if such was the case. And it looks like we killed him anyways. Didn't have to jeopardize the crossbowman for it. But we need to set up something that can take a hit there. Unfortunately, we're not doing much to this. In fact, you know what? What good is the Colossus if I lose my city? We're getting victor? Increase the city's garrison's combat strength. It's probably not going to last long, but I may as well mark it.
we've got more of now. Seeing as how I need to time to repair my capital, I'll take this deal. And those right works that he's been offering will be of use as well. A joint war on Hammurabi. You want me to pay for this joint war? That's not going to benefit me. And you want me to give up, up a net, suffer a net loss of great works? You idiot! You are the worst businessman in the history of business. No, I'm not taking that awful deal. Goodbye. Now this one. So up on the borders and pay me a little bit. And trade epics. But I lose the Odyssey. This is really good long term value. I don't see 30 gold a turn, 5 gold a turn for 30 turns being worth it. After all, I'm getting plenty of gold. The casket of the evangelist. This is getting her 8 tourism per turn? That's pretty powerful. Maybe it's worth it. You got yourself a deal. So many people want to bargain with me. The war's over. For now. At least I didn't get go through it empty handed. Maybe my next plan of attack is to attack uh, Kug. Wurestjid. Before going for his capital. Oh. That was my samurai that got struck by the caravel. And we get tortoise for him. I'm thinking we go for triple trebuchet cores. Nah. We'll see what I can buy with faith after we get the Grandmaster Chapel. Nope, we're in peace times. Let's get the Colossus. Gonna have to send someone back over that way at some point. We're also going to want to get some settlers and settle this region. It's all desert, which is not ideal. But what can be done about that? Now... You're going to be disappearing soon anyways. So... We'll get this. Real tall men make gumps. Got gunpowder for free. Unfortunately, I was already working on that. Now we'll need to figure out... What we've got going for us. We want to upgrade the medieval walls before we deal with that. Let's just hope that the bombards aren't on the dead end branch. Never think of it, he does have fewer cities than me. That's not stopping him from dominating in technology. Alright. Well, that was a pretty intense war. I'm surprised I managed to come out positive in that war. I took his city. And then he seeded over a bunch of gold per turn along with a couple of great works. I think I'm going to call it quits here, though. 
I'll have to think about how I'm going to approach this in the future. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice one. Since I didn't want to go through the trouble of making an entire song, it's just an audio recording. By the way, this thing repeats itself.